in a beautiful mountainside, a little town called Los Pinos. And we are, as you can see, in a scenery that is absolutely incredible. A garden full of plants, 26,000 square meters, remotely in a small little paradise, a piece of heaven, as you'll see later on. And this finca is believed to be around 300 years old. I'm Julia from HG Hamburg, and I would like to show you this amazing property. So as you come in into this four meet, 400 square meters property with five bedrooms and four bathrooms, you come into a nice, beautiful little patio. In summer, this patio is actually green with wine, real grapes, dessert grapes that hang down here. Last year, it was around 80 kilograms of grapes that you can just pluck and eat. And it's really nice and cool in here. And I'd like to uh, point out a little bit uh, the materials here. You come uh, as in a typical finca in Spain, right into the kitchen. This is a country house style kitchen with, uh, let's have a look here, a gas burner, big, uh, nice stove uh, that is really traditional to uh, cook a meal for your guests. Then you have uh, fridges right here, a lot of storage. And as you can see, the floor, not only here, but uh, in the whole house, all over the house and all the bathrooms is uh, travertine Tosca. And here we have uh, all the woodworks from old floorings, very, very uh, unique old floorings from England that were brought here and recycled into this property. Please uh, be aware as well that the height of this uh, kitchen counter is higher than normal, which is really a good feature here. And then you come to the new entrance area, which has been redone by the owner when she moved in here 21 years ago. This lady has a lot of style and taste. Um, have a look at this woodwork here. Um, probably brought in from Indonesia. We call it the Moroccan room because, yeah, it's just a style as you can see. Um, first, we would like to show you, apart from little features um, like the ceiling spotlights and decoration in here, the Naya, because the Naya is one of the most important places here in Spain in a traditional house especially you need it because in summer it gets really really warm and we want to have shadow but still the connection to the outside and in this case the Naya has been glazed in sometimes you find them open as well but here it's right in the same style with the rest of the house we have a real wood burner in here and the connection then to the outside again to the patio so it flows nicely the energy is fantastic we're going to show you the outside later, but here you can have a little glimpse on how the Naya goes on around the corner. And this is the east and this is the south, so you have sun all day here until you see it going down in the west. And then from here, we reach the living room area. Again, very nicely furnished, decorated, very, very cozy. Have a look at the details here again. Travertine Tosca, as mentioned before, real wood everywhere. This is just a house with real natural materials. Um, this uh, table here is just incredible with the little stone features here. Another burner, but in this case it's gas. So in case you feel a bit lazy, you just switch it on and the heat starts coming up in winter, which is, I think, the most... Uh, cozy thing you can do in, in a cold winter night and also you can watch tv here and this uh, leads us to the first little guest room a very special room because uh, this features an indian door a copper, a copper door which has been brought by the owner in here as well a little table to sit down and uh, do your makeup and get ready for the morning and then, as all the bedrooms have uh, a bathroom en suite with beautiful features like a marble sink here in this case, marble all over the bathroom, so top quality is really here. And it's a shower room with natural light. You can see the windows here 
Uh, fantastic quality as well, real wood, double glazed, all the top standards. The house has um, gas, central heating. On the plot up near the entrance, we have a gas tank. So that gets filled up whenever you need it, probably once or twice a year is enough because here, because of the sunshine, you get a lot of natural heat in the house as well in winter. So we're back at the Moroccan room now and would like to show you the sitting room, which is again, very, very special. It has another wood burner in here and an old English table and chairs that makes you really feel like a king dining here and very, very cozy. I think it's uh, lovely, especially in winter again, because it's nice and cool, but then with the wood burner, it heats up. And then we have a nice little bodega feature here. That means you can store your wine, which is something that's very important here in Spain, Costa Blanca. And from there we reach the guest area. That's the second guest bedroom, quite a small one. And this is the only uh, bedroom that has the bathroom outside, but it's right across the hallway. So very close. Here we have a funny feature, actually. This is a bench from China. This is uh, hundreds of years old, and it has been built in the house when the house was changed um, around 30 years ago. So you can't move it. It comes with the house. <laughs> Here we have a big storage room. It's also something I always say is very important in any house. You need space where you leave your things, your suitcase, all this stuff you don't want to see. And then we come to the main uh, guest room. This is really, I would say my favorite room in this, in this house because it has a direct access to the garden, to the beautiful um, terrace with a lot of sunshine and features like this wooden top here that has been brought in later on by the owner. And of course, yeah, you can see it, a beautiful bed, lots of wardrobe storage, uh, it's on suite bathroom again, and a lot of light. Here again, you see the nice uh, travertine feature marble and lots of details here again. So yeah, special room. And from here, I think I would like to take you upstairs to the master bedroom and another bedroom here. So as I said before, in total, it's five bedrooms here. Most of it is on one floor, which is something that is very important. You don't have to climb stairs, but here you really feel that these stairs are 300 years old because they're higher as the, than the normal stairs. And this makes the character of this wonderful property. So first we go into the guest room and into the secondary bedroom. It's very nice again, lovely features. Here we have a bit of a lower ceiling because we're in the upper floor now. So we're right under the roof. And yeah, it's very, very nicely done. The wardrobe fittings have been painted white here. That's something people like to do nowadays, but others are just kept in the natural wooden color, which is also nice. Double sink bathtub, which you should have always at least one bathtub in the house. And again, a really big shower, all en suite, of course. And then we get to the master bedroom. So this room is bigger than all the other rooms or more or less as big as the master uh, bedroom downstairs. So very cozy, I would say it feels almost a bit holy, nice energy uh, here in this bedroom. I think you probably sleep like a baby. All this has been done new, uh, stone walls, especially inside, uh, natural stone walls are something very, very pretty that gives a lot of feeling, a very homey feeling. And then again, the uh, natural wood everywhere, same floor throughout the whole house. And here we have a outside terrace as well. So you can step outside in the morning and look at the views, which are fantastic. And then another bathtub here. Heating, of course, big shower, double sink. So 
again, a very complete bathroom with all the features that you need. So what more can I say? I think we'll go outside. because it's a very traditional style, beautiful Spanish villa with a bit of a Moroccan touch. And you also see the spectacular garden here. It's just fantastic. And I'm here self-facing in the sun. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> Need my sunglasses, sorry. But as you can see here, around here, there's always something blooming. There's all types of different colors all around the year. Bees humming around the place. <laughs> and just here you see succulents, you see palm trees, all different uh, kinds of flowers, pine trees, whatever it is, you can find it here. Because the owners really like gardening, but the house is really easy to maintain because these plants are mostly natural and local. So if you want less work, you can also have a gardener here taking care of it and it costs only 300 euros. Here we have several water features. Come up the stairs now. This is handmade terracotta floor, which is also very typical of a Spanish style finca. And we come right to the pool area. Have a look here at this 11 meters pool, which is awesome for a nice swim in the morning. And the orientation is east to south. So you see the sun come up here on the side and we are only just four kilometers straight line to the sea. So in winter it doesn't get that cold. It's a very maritime climate here. And that's why you can swim almost around the year. And we're only 20 minutes drive to the next supermarket. So we're very close to the next area. But also if you buy a house like this, you want your privacy, you want your remoteness, unwind from the stressful daily life. So this is something we really have here in this property. 26,000 square meters, as I said before. It's you, you and only you and your guests, because uh, the house is fantastic for entertaining with all the bedrooms. And here we have the very important lemon tree again. And another sitting area here, important that we have spaces to sit around the house in the sun and in the shadow around the year and around any time of the day. Beautiful olive trees, of course, as you see here on the side. And then we would like to show you the view a little bit from the Naya, the pool area, outside into the green, into the forest. As you see, there is very far barrancos, very far mountains here, open views through the arches. All of them are covered with bougainvillea flowers, as you can see, they bloom pink very beautifully in summer and make this typical Spanish feeling. And again, we get back with two steps here in front of the house. Now you see the garden again and the little pavilion which as the owners tell us is especially nice in May and you can have your candlelight dinner here, very romantic or have a couple of guests and friends over here as well. Here we have the little shed on the side that's very practical and important as well to store your things. The water boiler is there at the moment and you can keep your tools there. And then we come back to the terrace here from the main guest bedroom so you step outside right onto the terrace and connect it to the pool. 
So these are the views that you see here, right into the green of them. This here on the side, on the west side, is the succulent garden. It's all um, very natural, it's just been uncovered, it's all been here before. And really, the owners just made the most of it. And we're back here at the entrance area. You see again how many cars can be parked here, that's fabulous. And you can drive in right from the street, so you have absolutely no problem here uh, when you want to entertain and bring in even nice cars because there's no sandy little ways you come right from the main street even though you don't hear it at all and then up here by the entrance we get to the gas tank and another parking here and the gate of the plot and now I would like to show you one more thing but uh, one second, I think I lost my way a little bit. <laughs> I just have to go around here. So <laughs> we get to the casita, which means little house in Spanish. <laughs> it's very cute. It used to be a stable many, many years ago, because uh, as we heard, this house has been estimated to be built around 300 years ago, at least the kitchen, which is the main part of the finca. So this has probably been here back then uh, for storage or for animals. And you can use it now for a gym or maybe a yoga place where you do your practice in the morning and you could also use it as a studio if you're an artist to paint or just to be remote from the rest of the house. Another very important feature here in this house that I haven't mentioned yet is the well. You shouldn't have 26,000 square meters of garden without a natural well because it would be very high water cost. So in this case, we're very lucky to have the well which feeds all the irrigation, automatic irrigation, by the way, throughout the whole garden and the pool and the house. So thank you for being with me today. I hope you got a little bit of an impression of this beautiful property and spectacular house. And I can assure you that it's one of the very unique properties that we have in our portfolio. And there's nothing else really alike. So if you're interested, Please give us a ring and have a nice day. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.